it's Mo. Uh, I'm glad you're here today. I got a haul for you. Sephora has their sale going on. There were a few things at Ulta I was interested in and there's been like this rash of new foundations um, coming out which I would like to test and uh, give some opinions on. So I thought why not open them with you? So I'm actually just opening the box over here right now. I'm good with the scissors. Not really. Let's do some hauling, shall we? Let's see here. Should we start with Ulta? Let's do Ulta. Uh, let's see. So, so many foundations have come out lately. Like, it's it's weird how it's like feast or famine, right? Like, there'll be no new foundations and then there's like 30 of them. But anyway, I have picked up three in this haul, actually. Two from Ulta, though. Uh, the first one is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I got this in the... It's always so tricky to figure out uh, what your shade is online. And I'm just like anybody else, I am totally guessing. I mean, I go based on their descriptions, but who, who knows if it's right. So I got shade 111. Um, I am typically in the eh, light, fair to light category with a neutral undertone. Uh, let's just take a, ooh. oh, it's like really in there nicely. I'm kind of one of those people I often keep my things in a box um, because light is the enemy of, you know, often cosmetics and fragrances and things like that. Okay, <laughs> got it out of the box. Yay me. So this is the Meet Your Hue Foundation from Dose of Colors. As I said, this is this is in shade 111. Um, it's so hard to tell just eyeballing it, but I think it's going to be, as with so many things, it looks like it leans a touch yellow. But I'm, I'm going to give it a try in a bit. has a nice pump. I like the packaging very much. It's just very sleek, very simple. Um, and this is supposed to be medium to full coverage. And lots of claims. Vegan, cruelty-free, talc-free, paraben-free, oil-free, fragrance-free. And I will assume sugar and fat-free as well. So I'll be uh, doing that at a future date. And as I said, I got another foundation from Ulta when I ordered that one. And this one... I have heard virtually nothing about. It is from Beauty Bakery and is their Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. So I have seen very little about this. I just saw it. I have liked the Beauty Bakery products that I have tried. Uh, their Champagne Cotton Candy Glowy Blush Palette is something I've really, really enjoyed. Oh, the opening is cute. So it opens like this, actually. Oh. And Beauty Bakery, they are winners when it comes to packaging. Cute little, like, just a little spatula, just a little extra something. And then it gives baking tips and the ingredients, which, again, Beauty Bakery is really solid when it comes to um, packaging and concept and those kinds of things. And I'm the first to admit that sometimes I'm sucked in by that. Um, I don't deny that in the least. Uh, let's look at the shade here. So I got shade 351N. And that's what that looks like. Again, just eyeballing it. I don't know. It could be a little peachy. could be a little yellow. And I have read very little about this, actually. I was just curious about it. Um, so this one is described. Let's see if I can find it here. It is serving filter-worthy skin in a bottle, according to this. So um, it is listed as full coverage effortlessly covers anything delivering extraordinary performance it applies smoothly like a layer of frosting what's curious to me and actually the reason i ordered it is because it's called aqua glass foundation even though it's described as full coverage and like thick like a frosting which makes me nervous because i don't usually wear full coverage i always think it looks a little haha <laughs> cakey on me um but i'm willing to give it a try and i mean really cute cute packaging so I'll as always I will follow up on that um, and this I just did from Ulta for fun I'm excited about it but I I don't know it was kind of an idea I had so I picked up the I Heart Revolution now that's what I call makeup the 90s edition in a big boom box you know I mean come on that's just that's just throwback fun right there. And to accompany it, and because I wanted one anyway, I got a caboodles. <laughs> I had a caboodles in the 90s or the late 80s, I don't remember. It was not like this, it was smaller. I didn't have one this big. But I've been meaning to get one just because often I'm getting ready in my bathroom and I'm like picking individual pieces from my room and taking them in the bathroom. So I thought, well, hey, 
I'll get a caboodles and then I can just take it with me. There's a mirror. I don't want to blind you here, but you probably know what a caboodles looks like. And I mean, total retro 90s Saved by the Bell color. This, this insignia always reminds me of Saved by the Bell for some reason. But anyway, so I got that and I got that. Now that's what I call music, the 90s pal eyeshadow palette edition. Um, should we open it? Let's just open it. I didn't, I actually didn't know it would be sealed in plastic. Um, and this is I Heart Revolution, which is kind of a, I don't know if I'd even say a sister brand to Makeup Revolution or a division of Makeup Revolution. Um, and I believe this was available maybe in the, the UK or in Europe several months ago. Uh, but I just noticed it on Ulta's website, so I ordered it because I thought it looked kind of fun. Um, and I like music. So, oh yeah, the packaging inside very similar to the outside. I, this is actually really cute. I like this. So there's the packaging, and then as I recall from the picture, I think it's supposed to look kind of like a, um, an audio meter. Oh, oh it's broken. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Well, it's broken. Um, I'll kind of show you here, but... There's like powder everywhere and it's, you know, it's supposed to look cool, like an audio meter. Oh, I'm so disappointed that's broken. So, that's really a bummer. I was really looking forward to like doing this with my caboodle <laughs> and doing like a 90s throwback thing. So I will have to contact Ulta and see if I can get a replacement. And then I did a little bit of shopping with the Sephora sale. Um, you know, I I have yet to find what I would consider my holy grail primer. Probably the closest I've come is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've used that before on camera. And I, I, but I only have the travel size. Like I bought this new travel size because I feel like I'm always testing primers. And when I buy a full one, then I, I feel like I don't, I don't end up using the whole thing. So I got that one. And I also picked up this set from Becca. And I know that I like the uh, backlight priming filter is a little more glowy. I've used that before and I had a full one, but I didn't end up using it and then it got kind of expired. So I bought this instead. So it's got the backlight priming filter and then it also has the first light priming filter, which I think is a less glowy of the two. And I've been wanting to try that one and I've wanted to get the backlight prime. So this is the backlight priming filter. A little tricky to see that, but like you get the gist. And then this is the first light priming filter. And so I'm going to kind of compare and contrast and see what I think about those. But I, I have in the past liked the backlight priming filter. And so we're going to try those out. I've got the hourglass one, as I said, but I've used that before and I know that I like it. Um, and I picked up another foundation. I got the Fenty Beauty, which is the new one, the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Uh, I didn't get on with the other one, the original one. It was just a bit too drying for me, and I wanted to like it because there's such a wonderful shade range. But you know, not everything works for everybody, certainly formula-wise. So I picked up the shade 185, which is supposed to be, I believe, light and neutral. And I think that actually looks fairly neutral. So I'm kind of looking forward to that and in fact that's what I have on today but I just put it on right before I turn the camera on so I have no I really don't even have any impressions to give you you can see what it looks like I mean there's that um, but I am in no way prepared to give any opinions on that but so that's another foundation review I'll have coming and also at Sephora I wanted to get the Jackie Ina palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills oh wow look at that that is some beautiful duochrome going on there and I like the logo quite a lot too. So that's the palette. I'm sure you've seen this all over the place. Um, but we'll open it up and take a look. Packaging. Really nice. I like this packaging very much. I like the feel of it. I think a lot of us didn't prefer kind of that, I'd call it fuzzy packaging that ABH had. Um, and here are the colors. And I kind of looked at them in Sephora and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try those colors. Those are very interesting to me. And I, it looks to me like I can get a neutral look. I could op obviously get a colorful look and uh, I'm all for that. So I am looking forward to trying those colors. And I got a little one, you know, the little 
checkout area. I, I was not uh, impulse buying this. I actually went to get this. It's the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms, that little palette. I enjoy their Tickled Peach palette, which is the same size. So I thought I would try this one. Here's the outside packaging. It's their tin packaging. And here are the shades. This is what I'm wearing today, although I threw it on very quickly. Um, so you can kind of get the gist of what the shades look like. I guess I should do that for you. Maybe that's helpful. And I like this green, kind of a green gold shimmer right there. I think that's really nice. Uh, I think this is going to be a good little take along palette. And it's magnetized. It's just, it's, it's nice. It's good for travel, even though I'm not a big traveler. But this is one I would definitely take along. That's kind of my speed. And uh, another thing I got at the impulse buy section, but again, not really an impulse buy. I knew I wanted it. Invisible. This is like the only thing I. I shouldn't say only, but this is one of the very few things I put in my hair. I have one in, a different one in right now. Um, because I have wavy hair, so for me, if I put like a normal elastic or ponytail holder in it, it kind of pulls my hair back too hard, and then I lose all this body. But the Invisibobble works really well for me, and then the idea on the Invisa part is that it doesn't leave a kink in your hair. Um, which is helpful to me too because I put my hair up and I take it down and I only wash it every two or three days so I got some different Invisibobbles these are slightly thinner um, I know they've been coming out with some kind of different ones I suppose just to make things mix things up so these are thinner like here let's just do this so this is this is the kind I've been using forever this is clear I don't know how well you'll see this but I think you know how these work but anyway um, the coil on this is is wider than the new one. See how thin that is? So it's thin and the design is just kind of, it's got a little bit of trying to be duochrome holographic in there. I think that's picking up. And I just thought they were kind of pretty. I use these almost every day because I throw my hair up, you know, like that um, most evenings when I get home. And so I've gone through quite a few Invisibottles, not because they've broken, but because I <laughs> I have misplaced them. Um, I'll just leave my hair down. But um, but I really, really, really like Invisibobbles. So when there's a sale, at the 20% at Sephora, I will often just pick up a new one because they're eight, I think they're typically $8 per package. So I figure, you know, sure, I'll save $1.60. Why not? Um, get them for whatever that is, $6.40. Is my math right on that? Uh, and then sometimes the sale gets you. Maybe this doesn't happen to you. It happens to me. That's something I've looked at, looked at, looked at that's more money than I should probably spend. And I go in and they happen to have it in store and I kind of hem and I haw and I, I often don't get it this time. I did. I have not decided if I'm keeping this. I have not opened it. I have not opened this. Um, but I got the Natasha Denona Biba palette. And I have looked at this in store so many times I don't even want to open it because I'm not sure if I'm returning it and I really like to be sincere about that if I'm gonna return something it's either because it's it really 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 doesn't work for me or I really have not opened it and I just changed my mind and the reason I ended up buying it was because I looked at the colors I swatched them again they swatched absolutely beautifully and I thought well maybe I'll get some actual use more actual use out of this because it's neutral, because I can get, you know, this is an everyday kind of palette, or it could be for me in any case. Um, but after I got it home, I still was like, because uh, even with the sale, it was probably, I mean, it was more than $100, we'll say $104 or something, and that, that's a lot of cash. So I'm still deciding if I'm keeping that or not, and I don't know. <laughs> that's not helpful to you really but maybe you have a I don't know maybe I'm the only one who like does that like I I just I finally make my decision I finally get it and still the money is just so much to me that I think I don't I don't know if I in good conscience I can keep that so you may be seeing a review on that you may not and if you'd like to know if I end up returning it or not I'm happy to tell you um, because I like to be honest and forthright with what I'm with what I'm hauling or what I'm using or you know whatever that is so that's how my haul went a little disappointed about well I am disappointed about the I Heart Revolution that's what I call music 90s palette being broken those things happen I will try to get a replacement Viva palette don't know don't know if my conscience will let me let me keep that um, but we'll see 
and uh, I hope some of this was helpful. Some of this I'll definitely be reviewing and um, coming back and talking about, and it's a lovely day. My windows are open, so if there's been some background noise, I don't know. I it's lovely, so I'm just I'm not closing the windows on a beautiful day like today, and I hope you are having a really good day. I always appreciate you stopping by, and I will talk to you soon.